Hi guys, I'm going to be doing an oracle card reading and you guys know that I've been doing these well, kind of off and on for a little bit. I haven't done very many, I think maybe two or three. I really want to try and focus on the positive with all of the crazy energy that's happening around us right now. And you know, this is how I do the oracle card readings is I pull one card, if more than comes out then great, from each oracle deck. I feel drawn to use all seven tonight. I have more oracle decks, but I really want to do these seven. And then after I'm done pulling one card from here, I'm going to do an extended reading on Vimeo, which you can purchase if you want to, you know, get a little bit more in depth with me. And I also go ahead and pull a tarot card spread just to get the energy of this. Now, tomorrow, September 22nd is the equinox. September 24th is the full moon in Aries. So we're feeling all of this crazy energy happening right now. You know, a lot of endings are happening and, you know, we are, our wounds are opening back up final healing, you know, completion of cycles, things we thought we were completely over with and done with seem to be kind of creeping back in starting this weekend and let it, okay? You got to feel it to heal it, remember? And no matter what ends up happening, if you have little tower moments or little curve balls and tests that the universe serves at you, remember, we're going to focus on the positive here and we are going to stay tunnel vision to our goals. Our abundance is coming. Nothing is going to distract us. Nothing. Okay. Not even our fucking selves. I just want to remind you guys, it's a reminder that I do swear in all of my readings. And if swearing does offend you, please click the fuck off now. Now, reminder, Virgos, this weekend, the 22nd and the 23rd is your last weekend to get the sale price for your readings. Libra season is not just yet, but Libras, your readings are already on sale. Okay, let's just get started. Now, I don't use this deck very often, if at all, and it is the Guardian Angel Tarot Card Deck by Doreen Virtue. And I know it says here that it's tarot cards, but it kind of reminds me of an Oracle deck because, you know, the the messages on them are just so different from traditional tarot cards, and they're absolutely gorgeous. So let's just see. I know. I gotta go with what I feel. Like I said, I do not use them very often at all, but I don't know. I just feel like I want to do an oracle card reading. Seeing clearly, you can't make the shit up. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> I'll, I'll get into it a little bit more why I feel that way. You know, the blinders are coming off. I can see clearly now the rain has gone, okay? It's time to view things from a different perspective. You have the blessed gift to see past the current situation and envision amazing possibilities. Don't worry, the pause in momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. Oh my God, it's like we absolutely needed that. Okay, Keepers of the Light deck. The reading I did earlier, Archangel Michael was with us, along with Kurnunos. Again, Kurnunos again. So, running energy is the same. Romance Angels deck. Let's see, just one card, please. We had two. No, I want only one spirit, please. Let your friends help you. Asking for help from... For me, it's your angels and spirit guides that let your friends help you card, but it can also be friends here in the physical 3D. But I don't know, when I get that card for myself, what resonates is asking for help because you know, the angels are always on standby, but the angels are waiting for you to ask for assistance. So right now I just wanna ask Archangel Michael, please come to us, protect us with your shield and sword. Please come and protect us, right? Please come and cut any cords of attachment that we may have with people that we should let go of. Look at that. No. We are definitely going to clarify the shit out of some of these cards. This is the Lover's Oracle. I'll tell you guys what I feel that I'm getting channeled almost immediately with that card. We'll talk about that in the extended version extended reading new beginnings are coming but old cycles have to close out a message for you i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you i also yesterday got the secret admirer card too 
because it's not that you have a secret admirer. It's someone that you probably know, someone you probably had dealings with, but someone that has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on is what that card is about. And then this one, someone's thinking of you. The Divine Masculines, I just did that reading last night where it talked about the fact that, you know, they were feeling regretful. Two cards came out here and I'm going to take both. Rising sun, a dark phase and struggle is over. A new phase is upon you, one of hope, glory, light, and triumph. It is won through boldness and persistence. You have been through much, and now victory is upon you, beloved, for the divine solar child. A new consciousness within you is born. Oh my God, I love it. It's really what we needed to hear. It's a new dawn. You guys hear me talk about that all the time. The sun card keeps coming up. It's harvest time, but it is a new dawn. The other day, if you follow me on Instagram, XI underscore Missy underscore XI, I had put up a short Instagram story saying that I got channeled the song from the movie Annie. The sun will come out tomorrow. I literally just got channeled that a couple days ago. It's fucking amazing. Then we have magic and ritual. Effect in the external world can be created through inner practice. Heart-centered ritual can support your inner path in the physical world. You are encouraged to enhance your power with regular practice as you grow in grace, love, ability, and wisdom. Applying your inner beauty to transform your outer world. You guys hear me talk about it in the past few readings that the heart chakra is opening up and it'll be like a beam of light, like the three of wands energy, that card in the crystal visions deck. And it's like your beacon to let your ships know where to come in. Three of wands waiting for our ships to come in. Okay. Now, this is my Archangel Michael Oracle deck. I know I have so many decks. I, you know, I barely use all of them. I just kind of use it as I'm guided and some I just don't use very much at all. The person you're asking about is trustworthy. Thank you for helping me have faith so I can open my heart wider in my relationships. You can't make the fucking shit up. I've been talking about that the past couple days with the heart chakras opening because, you know, that's our gateway to our abundance. Wow. I am grateful for your protection, ensuring that only trustworthy people are in my life. You know, we have been cutting the dead weight because the truth has been revealed. I can see clearly now the blinders are coming off. There have been some relationships in our life that maybe people were not reciprocating the same energy as you, right? Some people were using you maybe. Maybe it was one-sided, unrequited, whatever the case is. You know, we are now going to be vibrating really high and we're going to be clearing out our heart chakra. And that is exactly what my I Am Love candle is about. There's maybe like six or seven left. If you want to order it, click on the link below. This is a candle that Kyoki Tavar is one of my friends created for me. And it's embodying everything that I wanted to accomplish, which is us getting to the essence of knowing self-love. I am love. In order for that to happen, your own cup has to be full, right? Everything's about self-love. It's never been about the other person, your twin or soulmate. It's always been about us. And if our cup is full and, uh, and we believe in law of attraction, like attracts like, then that would mean that we would attract someone also has, who also has a full cup, two of cups energy. I am love. I am that I am. If you want to order it, go ahead and uh, get what's left because after this, we're going to start focusing on my second candle, which I haven't quite revealed just yet, but my second candle is coming out. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pull a tarot spread in the extended version. If you'd like to order that reading, click on the link below. Um, if you guys want to book a reading with me, click on that link below. All of my information is there. I love you guys so very much. Please stay focused. Please stay focused. Please stay positive no matter what they're throwing at us this weekend. No matter what emotions you're feeling, if old wounds are opening back up, if people from the past are coming in to test you, if the universe is serving little tower moments to you right now, we are going to stay focused. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel. We know that that pot of gold exists at the end of that rainbow and nothing will distract us. I love you guys so much. Please take care. Bye-bye.